What's up, FE Clan? I got two new gel blasters in the mail today. We're gonna go ahead and test fire them, and then we're gonna review them. All right, we've got these two gel blasters. They're both from the same company, and they are very realistic looking. This is a Glock supposed to be like a nine millimeter Glock and this here is a Desert Eagle and if you're wondering why my fingernails are painted my uh, three-year-old was you know experimenting so <laughs> I let him experiment I have no shame let's get into it guys we're gonna test the Desert Eagle out first this thing is pretty cool looking if you uh, see here when I turn it on it actually has some live action live action right there ladies and gentlemen super cool I'm excited about this gel blaster. These cost about $100 a piece, maybe like $90, $95. I think this one was a little bit cheaper than the Desert Eagle. Let's go ahead and load them up with some ammo. We'll test fire them and we'll do the paint test like always, of course. And then we'll go inside and we'll see what they came with and uh, we'll rate them one through 10. We're doing the Desert Eagle gel blaster first. As you can see, the mag release very sensitive it's a, right there where the mag release should be very cool very sensitive very easy um, basically the mag drops right out and then right here you can slide this little thing open this little slide open door and then you can put your orbies right in there okay. okay all right so as you can see it doesn't take very many orbies um, we're gonna go ahead and just flick these off good thing about using gel blasters guys is that it is biodegradable these things literally just disappear in the sun. They shrink down to like a size that you can't even see. If you hear that clicking, that is what's clicking the Orbeez up to the top. So you see that, boom, boom. And so as the gun fires, it clicks this down and brings another Orbeez up into the chamber. So let's go ahead and put this in the gun and then let's go ahead and test fire it. Very easy mag load. And if you can see, that's a close up of the pistol. Very cool. The uh, on and off button is right here on the bottom. Bam, bang, boom. The battery uh, compartment is right here on the bottom as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and test fire this thing right now. All right, so today we're gonna be aiming at the Mr. Beast logo on my fence because Mr. Beast never noticed me. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my shorts uh, right here or right here up in the corner. You can watch a couple of those shorts. I went over 150 days getting shot by these gel blasters trying to get Mr. Beast to notice me, but he never did. So we're gonna shoot his logo today. Let's get some uh, rounds up in that Mr. Beast. All right, wow. So this thing actually shoots pretty powerful. All right, so the Desert Eagle doesn't hold too much ammo, which is probably, you know, something that it comes with any pistol you get, whether it's a real gun, a BB gun, a uh, airsoft gun. Basically any pistol that you get is gonna hold less ammo. The lock back mechanism here that you can slide up and it locks back. So you can have like a really cool, um, if you're making a video, you can make it look pretty realistic. You just go bam, and then you just start firing, you know, and it, and it has that action. So very cool, very cool Desert Eagle. <clears throat> I'm very impressed with this pistol. I love it a lot. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. It looks real, so you gotta be very careful with these things out in public, guys. Uh, make sure this is something that you're using like around your home or maybe on a field that they're playing with a bunch of these uh, guns. All right, so let's move on to the Glock Gel Blaster and let's see how that thing fires. Here is the Glock uh, Gel Blaster pistol. As you can see, it has the same mag release button right here. And as I press it, you can see it's not coming out. So this mag release is not as sensitive. You actually have to pull on it to get it out. So there you go, we pulled the mag out. We're gonna go ahead and load this mag up with some gel beads. Let's see. Uh, so as far as this mag goes, there is a door on the back here and this is a fold open door opposed to a slide open door. So let's go ahead and get some Orbeez in there. Okay, and boom, there we go. We're all full of Orbeez, and let's see how this thing fires. Okay, Mr. Beast logo, let's see how you take the Glock. As you guys can see, it looks very real once again. Be very careful, do not bring these things out in public. Do not threaten people with these, that would be extremely stupid. Let's see how it fires. All 
All right, so uh, as far as the fire test, I'm not too impressed. Also, this uh, gel blaster charges right there. You plug it right in and there's a lithium ion battery in there. It charges right up. Most of those bullets are fired. I'm gonna actually fire it sideways so you guys can see. I'm gonna pull the trigger here and you can see it actually fires multiple rounds. All right, so as you can see, there's a delay um, as far as when it stops firing. So I can let go of the trigger and it's still firing, which is kind of wonky to me. Now there is this button here and on the box, it says that it's a like mode button or something like that. So I press the button and let's see what happens. Okay, so it did more firing that time. Let's see what happens if I press it again. Okay, so I don't know what that button actually does. It doesn't seem to make a huge difference uh, from the way it fires. So that's a little bit wonky to me. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's the test fire of the Glock Gel Blaster. It doesn't seem to be as powerful, but we will leave that decision up to the pain test, which is up next. Let's go. This is the Desert Eagle Gel Blaster pain test. Let's see how powerful it is. Let's go. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Woo. Well, that stings just a little bit. Let's uh, let's test out the Glock and see how powerful it is compared to the Desert Eagle. All right, this is the Glock Gel Blaster paint test. Let's see how powerful it is. Let's go. Oh, oh, woo, woo. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> and it's still firing, it's still firing. That thing is just a little bit crazy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that or not. Let's go inside where there's some AC and let's rate them one through 10 for you guys. Welcome to the office guys. Let's go ahead and review these things one through 10 and let's see what they came with in the box. So first of all, what they came with, uh, they came with a few packages of Orbeez. They came with the usual goggles and they came with a container to uh, make your Orbeez in and kind of hold them, you know, like if you're out in the field or something, you could keep these in a pouch or a pocket and then just reload your blaster because like, like I said, these blasters don't hold very many Orbeez in the magazine. Excuse my voice today, guys. I'm just getting over the flu. It's been like nine days. That's why I haven't made any videos. As far as the scale, uh, one through 10, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Desert Eagle a solid eight. The only reason I'm giving the Desert Eagle a eight is because the capacity of the very small and tiny magazine. As far as the gun, it's very solid make. It's made out of a carbon-based material. Um, it's not that really cheap plastic that you get in a lot of these gel blasters. Let's move on to the Glock gel blaster this Glock gel blaster I'm gonna give a 6 out of 10 the button is stuck in right now and the mag is not releasing I have to actually give it some force and pull it out I don't really like that I like my mag to just kind of like fall out now that might just be my opinion but that's one of the reasons I'm giving this a 6 out of 10 the other huge reason I'm giving a 6 out of 10 is because I don't know what this button does on the side and when you pull the trigger and you let go it keeps firing I don't like that it's not I don't think it's supposed to do that <coughs> I think I'm smelling like a burning smell right now so yeah this thing's definitely getting a 6 out of 10 for me um, it shoots pretty powerful it's a pretty good looking blaster these are very realistic looking I just want to stress again guys if you do buy realistic looking blasters or um, airsoft guns or whatever don't take them out in public people will think they're real and they will um, get scared and some people with actual firearms may uh, take action so please don't take these out in public that is the end of the video I appreciate you guys watching make sure to watch this video and this video next we will see you next time <laughs> bye Go beast.